This trip is definitely going to impact my life. I think it's not only improved my Spanish, but it's really opened me up to a whole new culture, a new side of life. I think that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Kate Muir, and I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut. My name is Adam Conwall. My name is Hallie. My name is Oliver Peterson. My name is Nicole Haas-Loomis. I'm Marissa, I'm from Cincinnati. I'm Caroline, I'm from Cincinnati. And we're sisters. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever traveled by myself, and I'm meeting new people from all over the world. I've traveled with my family before, but when you travel alone, it's really like you're experiencing all these new things. It was nice to really be able to be independent in that way. We live in a very small town called Atenas, which is in the province of Alajuela, and we know each other. It is very safe. I'm from Houston, Texas, where Spanish is almost more popular than English, so it's a very useful language. Our program is Spanish and Cultural Immersion. La mayoría del tiempo tratamos de hablar siempre en español. Sin embargo, en ocasiones ellos necesitan un poco más de espacio y les ayudamos con eso. Y atendemos a todas sus dudas. Muchos chicos tienen preguntas de por qué se dice esto así o por qué se dice de tal forma. And it's not always great just to be stuck in a classroom learning, it's better to learn hands-on in an environment like this. It's been an amazing experience to be able to speak Spanish, meet new people, and visit all of these places across the country at the same time. It exceeded my expectations. On the weekends we have excursions, so we get to tour Costa Rica. The rafting was awesome. It was really hands-on. We got to do everything ourselves with the help of the guide. Yesterday we went to the public school. One group painted and another group did some planting at the school. I think it's a really good opportunity to have fun at the same time help others. Our homestay is awesome. Our family is really, really nice and the food is amazing. And just being able to talk to them is a really great way to be introduced to the culture. and They tell us about their daily lives. We go out and do things with them. We're not just a little add-on, but we're part of the family while we're there. One of the most beautiful aspects of study abroad is that it is impossible to leave the exact same person that you were when you arrived. Being fully immersed in the Costa Rican culture, being fully immersed in Spanish, means that students have the opportunity of a lifetime. I think this trip will definitely help me with people skills. In colleges, people come from all over the country, all over the world. Just being able to communicate with people on a day-to-day -day basis will be a lot easier knowing Spanish. My Spanish was not so great, but it's definitely gotten better. If I want to do something like Doctors Without Borders, this is a really useful experience. Learning languages is a great excuse to travel the world, which I really enjoy. Pero lo más importante es salir de esa burbuja donde están en sus casas, en su estado y ver que hay muchas cosas más. Ellos aprenden mucho de la vida. Su, su mente se les abre y descubren nuevas cosas, ¿no? Ven cómo las personas viven de diferentes formas de cómo ellos viven en su país. <risa>